What is up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. Today we're working on the KLR. All right, so last time I took it out, we crashed a bunch. Um, we we're doing some gnarly off-road stuff. This fairing broke. That's in the box over there. We also bent our shift lever. You know, I'd crash, the bike would fall, I'd go pick it up, turn it off, get it upright, turn it back on, pull in the clutch, it's still in gear, try and start it, and it wouldn't start. Um, I had to put it back into neutral, and then it would start. So I think either my clutch safety switch, here these wires coming out, control that, or a side stand switch were causing the issue. So today we're gonna put a little switch. Focus, focus, don't focus on my face. Whatever, this guy. We're gonna stick it up here somewhere so we have a bypass switch. We can turn those off and on. And, you know, put the rest of the stuff back on the bike. So, start by taking it apart. Hopefully you guys can see all this, but this is our wiring diagram for a KLR650 Generation 2, 2008 and on. Um, we have our side stand switch up here, right? Then we have our clutch switch right here. So if we trace these wires back, we get this comes from the regulator rectifier, up into our side stand switch, make sure it's good, then comes back here on this green and white wire all the way over into the side stick or the clutch switch sorry into the clutch switch then it pops back out it's this blue and red wire then it goes all the way over to our starter relay circuit so my thought is that we bypass the whole thing just by running here let's use a pen now this wire from the regulator rectifier to a switch that goes straight up to our starter relay circuit, right? I mean, we'd probably do it back here, <laughs> get it from here because then it pops up in there. But that's the plan. So the wires we actually care about are this blue and red one from our starter clutch. This is the clutch. And then the black and yellow from the regulator rectifier. And if we can put a little switch in between them where if we turn it on, it jumps it. If it's off, it ignores it and runs through the regular system. Should be good, right? Right? All right, so if we come back over here, regulator rectifier, we have our black and yellow wire. It has this junction right here. It spits off and goes to the frame ground, lights, fan motor, everything. So, I think we can just ground out this wire and it's good. Let's give it a shot. All right, so now we're looking at the bike. This is the clutch lever right here. We're zoomed in pretty far. The switch coming out of it, back in here, right? You can see this wire on this side is green and white. And on the other side back here is blue and red. So, we're right so far. All right, so I unplugged from our clutch connection, whatever. This connector that goes to where the clutch is. I just have this little lead and we are going to tap it on the ground and see if it works. So right now we are in gear. 
So I press the starter button, nothing happens. If I pull on the clutch, press the starter, nothing happens. Kickstand is also down. So here we go. We're gonna touch this to some ground, hit the button, see what happens. And yeah, it works. So there is that. So now we just need to find out where we can pull that blue and red wire from. I'm thinking right in here, from this connector. Um, I'm gonna snip this clip, cut through some of this, uh, grab our wire, run it up here. We already have ground on here somewhere, so that should be pretty easy. So I was hoping I could avoid cutting this. That's why I took all the time to just scrape around it, but um, in order to put heat shrink on it and properly seal it, I think I'm going to have to cut it. I thought I could just pop the pin out, but it doesn't look like I can. So, here we go. Let's cut it up here. Right there. So I just pulled this up just to figure out where we can put this and see what's behind there, see so if we have any grounds we can use. I'm gonna stick it here next to this other switch. Maybe in the middle, I don't know. Oh no. Ah. But regard, I think I'm gonna do it here. Right behind here. Yeah, it should be safe. Should be a safe spot right about there. And just to make sure you can see what we're talking about right here, sticking this, drilling a hole. It would just be the tip showing through. So like that much. Um, there's nuts and washers and stuff to hide all the bottom piece. But I'm thinking right there. Yeah, let's do that. Right there. So we gotta measure this and then drill a hole. Alright, so we're at 1564. Let's see how this goes. So let's just have our switch real quick. We have our ground before we solder this in the stuff. Um, so bike is on, it's in gear, clutch is out, try and start it, we get nothing. We touch our ground. Oh, we're going. Turn the switch off, still touching ground, nothing. So it works like we want. So let's do our final wiring. Get this grounded somewhere.
So here's our bolt. It's about the same size as this drill bit. We are going to ground it to that frame bolt. It's where the it's where the whole dash mounts. So Drip a bunch of solder in here and just to uh, so much extra space. I'm not going to touch it. Turn the bike on. See, no neutral light. Um, our switch is in the down position. On, press it, nothing happens. Flip our switch up, press it, and the bike almost falls over. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we just got to put it all back together. I got this wiring harness tape. It's this cloth high temperature stuff, so I'm going to put that over the spots where I cut out the shielding and should be good. All right, the battery died at some point, but I got this off. So here's the old one, all the scratches. I'm gonna hang this up somewhere, use it as a trophy. But now we're just gonna get the rest of the stuff off. And now she is all put back together. Um, we replaced this plastic, we got a new shift lever, and of course our safety bypass switch. If you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.